welcome to Joyful Gen Yoga. Today's practice is going to be a gentle slash yin practice, getting into the upper back, the shoulders, and trying to release tension in those spaces that we tend to hold. We'll need two blocks and a blanket or a towel if you have it. And we'll get started. We're actually going to get started on our backs in a supported fish pose. So I'm going to set my blocks up to show you first. And then obviously you're in charge of your body. You're going to do what feels right to you. The most important part is that your head is supported and that the, bl the block that's underneath your shoulder blades is really underneath your shoulder blades. So right at that base. So if you can kind of like draw your shoulder blades together and feel where the base of your shoulder blades is, that's where you're going to want one of your blocks. And it'll be right there supporting you as you start to lean back it's like you could kind of sunbathe here, right? But it would get uncomfortable on your neck after a while. So then you can take the other block as a pillow to support the head. Now, if it would suit you to have the block on the highest height under your head, please go for it. I find that that limits my opening, so I tend to draw it to the medium height. Arms can be out to the sides. Feet can be as wide as the mat, knees not together. Or some people enjoy having feet together, knees apart. So it's like a reclined Baddha Konasana or butterfly pose. And still some actually really like to be more in a Shavasana shape with their legs. So find out what works in your body. And it might not be the first shape. You might have to come out and adjust a little. So honor that. And as you settle in, let your body start to get heavy. Almost like you could melt your, the back of your body around the block so that your heart lifts up even more. I love this shape aside from the opening and the thoracic spine, but also it helps to create this symbolic gesture of having your heart open, being ready to receive the gifts of life. Walking into situations with your heart open, willing to be in a space, willing to show your true authentic self, being unapologetically you. Let your breath start to move consistently in and out through your nose. Maybe allowing the inhales to deepen to the length or the count of five or six. Inhaling to Three, four, five. Exhale to three, four, five. Continuing with the proper count for your breath. Taking time to let your inhales be just a little bit longer. Letting your exhales release just a little bit more. Allowing the physical body to relax deeper and deeper. So if you're holding in your jaw or if you're holding 
around your forehead or your brow. See if you can consciously soften there. Soften effort. And then as you sit in intention for your time here on the mat, perhaps it centers around your heart. How would your life look different if you entered into situations with your heart wide open? Take another inhale here and exhale. Gently bend your knees if they're not already and start to roll to your favorite side. As you lower onto your side body, start to slide the blocks out from underneath you. When you lower on to your body, Pause with your feet as wide as the mat, knees knocked in towards center in a constructed rest pose. Returning back to your breath. Returning your awareness back to the space behind your heart. That space where the props were lifting and opening. you find out? What could you fill into these spaces that you're creating around your heart? And then starting to walk your feet in a little bit, we're going to play with banana asana, which is one of my favorite poses. It's a really big side body opening. And for our intention in this shape, I want you to think about opening the sides around your heart, right? The ribs around your heart. So bring your feet over to the right side of your space. Reach your arms up overhead and bring them over to the right as well. Keep your glutes and your shoulder blades on the ground. If this is upsetting to your shoulders, know that you can always rest your hands down as well. And then that left ankle, if you'd like, could cross over the right. You might be feeling some opening in that outer left hip. But see if you can draw your focus and your awareness to that space right to the left side of your heart, your upper ribs. Imagine every inhale creates a little bit more space in between those ribs to create more space for your heart to open, more space to pull in breath. Where can you soften? Are you holding tension in your fingers or your toes? Your shoulders or your hips? Consciously inviting in the act of surrender. Maybe after opening up through your ribs and your heart space a little bit in that supported fish, maybe you can take a little bit longer breath counts here. Maybe you're inhaling at a count of six 
or seven or even eight. Take another steady breath on this side. And we'll slowly release our arms down to our sides. Return our legs back through to center. Pause for a moment. Notice if it's easier to take big breaths in the left side body now. Walking your feet now to the left side of your space. Arms up overhead to the left as well. And perhaps the right ankle crosses over the left if that works for you. And then truly begin to release. Invite that softening, softening the outer right hip, side body space between the ribs. Where can you let some of the tension melt away? Offer another full deep breath here. And then for the next three breaths, can you consciously lengthen your inhales and exhales just a hair more? Not in a way that stresses you out or that feels particularly goal-oriented, but could you really try to create that space? Really fill your body with breath, with energy, with prana. And work your way back through center, letting your hands come down at your sides, evening out your hips. And then returning to that constructive rest pose. Feet wide, knees knocked in towards center. Feel toeing feet in a little bit with that focus still around your heart space, which is going to seem silly for our next shape, but we're going to come into a reclined figure four. Some people call this thread the needle. So we'll cross the right ankle over the left thigh and then reach up and either hold the left shin or the left hamstring. You need a strap to hold your legs here. That's perfect as well. And sometimes gravity alone can do the work and you don't need to use your arms. So you might find, depending on where you're holding, that there's a little effort in your arms or shoulders 
See if you can consciously release this. And we're starting to get into our hips and our glutes just a little bit here. So it serves us no purpose to have open heart and really tight hips. Right? We want to be able to move freely. Sometimes it's the things that we hold in our hip area that actually prevent us from living with a heart open way about us. Right? We might be more reserved due to that. Take an inhale. Exhale, release the left foot down. Hold on to that right foot. And you could take your little peace fingers around your right big toe and just start to rock a little to the right. So it's like a half happy baby shape. Just drawing that right thigh toward the ground a little bit, or even maybe towards your right armpit. What makes sense? And gently release both feet to the earth. Pause. Letting the left ankle cross over the right, hugging your knees in, and again, finding what you need, holding your hamstring, your shin, maybe the weight of your legs is enough. If you come to the shape and your body's intuitively calling for a little movement, maybe a little rock side to side, let that be, let that happen. Notice if you've begun to hold anywhere. Again, your jaw, your brow. Try to be soft. And then letting that right foot land back down. Left piece fingers around that left big toe. And then that little rock into your hip. Steady breath in, steady breath out. And then pause, let your left foot land as well. Feel yourself again on the mat, feel that connection. And then breathe consciously again into the space right behind your heart. And then as you feel ready, begin to roll to your favorite side. Use your hands to draw your way up and we'll come on to all fours. You might take that blanket or towel underneath your knees for just a little support here. And we'll come on to that all fours, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. And we'll pull our heart forward, lift and lengthen front body. And on exhale, round and gaze in toward the navel. Inhale, heart draws forward. And exhale, we puff up that space right behind our heart. One more time, inhale, heart draws forward. And exhale, we round it in. Inhale to find neutral. And then maybe we take those blocks that you had earlier and we can place them underneath our forearms. There's a little lift of your belly here, of your navel, and it's some stability around your pelvis. And we're just going to move the area around our heart. 
So try here to melt your heart down toward the earth and then press your heart up toward the sky. Melt and open your heart toward the ground and then lift your heart up toward the sky. See if that's an easy move, movement for you or if it's something that's really challenging to coordinate. Honor what shows up. Be with it. A few more times, just getting that movement around your scapula, movement in the, right behind your heart space. And then on the next breath in, lift back up. You might choose to use your blocks or not. I'm going to give you both options. We're going to come into puppy pose. Arms can come forward, palms down or up on fingertips, and we'll melt our heart toward the earth. For some of us, this is the perfect shape. We might find our forehead doesn't quite touch the earth. And if that's the case, let's support our head with a block or a pillow. If you find that your shoulders are asking for a little bit more opening, or if you want to melt your heart a little bit closer to the ground and your body moves in this way, you might take those blocks again, place your elbows and forearms on the block, and then melt your heart in between your arms. Wherever you are will be in some variation of puppy pose for 10 steady breaths. How deep are your breaths here? How much space are you creating around your heart and your lungs? Where are you inviting in surrender? And on your next breath, gently work your way back up. If you were using those blocks, go ahead and slide them off to the side. They won't be of much use for the next few shapes. So we'll work our way down onto our belly. It doesn't have to be anything special or graceful. And we'll pause just for a moment, either cheek to the mat or forehead to the mat or forehead to your hand. Notice where you might feel in your back body, what's open, what's not. And then we'll bring our arms out in front of us. Lift your right elbow off the ground and slide your left arm underneath your right. Wiggle your right arm forward and start to drop your head toward the ground, supporting maybe your chin on your upper arm, or just letting your head hang. You might feel a fair amount of sensation around the shoulders, so do this mindfully here. Five more breaths.
the normal half. And exhale, walk the right arm forward. Help to lift the left arm back out. Pause for a moment in a sphinx pose where your elbows are both evenly underneath your shoulders, heart drawing forward. And then start to wiggle the left arm forward. Slide the right arm underneath the left, left arm in front of right this time. And then settle back in and see if you know, this side feels quite a bit different than the other. Letting your head relax as best as it is willing is most of the cut. Allowing your head to relax down. Two more deep, steady breaths. And then using that left arm to lift you up. Returning back into that Sphinx pose for a moment. One more big breath in. And then exhale, allow yourself to soften down again. If you took one cheek to the mat earlier, flip which cheek's on the mat or rest your forehead. If you wanna take a moment to wiggle your hips a little side to side or even bend your knees and windshield wiper your feet side to side, go for it. And then slowly lift your way up through all fours, coming into a seated position. I like to support my seat with a blanket. If there's a way you like to prop up, feel free. And before we end in a seated meditation, bring your arms up like a cactus. And we'll inhale, pull elbows straight back, and on exhale, round it in. Inhale, lift and open your heart. Round it in, and then take one more big heart opening. And exhale, round it in, slide hands to heart and pause. Let your eyes soften, close. Start to rub your hands together. Build a little heat between your palms. And then place one hand on your heart, the other hand on top of that. Return to your deep, steady breath. How might you show up with a more open heart in your days? in your work in this world, in your conversation, in your relationships? How can you show up with an open heart, ready to serve? Ready to receive? Ready to be your best, most authentic self with your open heart, speaking your truth, standing up for what it is you believe to be right. How can you be love in this world? you 
radiate out love and compassion to the humans around you, to the creatures around you. How can you do a little bit better today than you did yesterday? How can you grow something in your life that you fear. Maybe you spend time educating yourself. How can you show up wholeheartedly in this world? Bring your palms together right in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra. And then gently bow your forehead in gratitude. I wish you all abundant joy. Be well.